when you say there is no God it's an absolute statement which requires absolute knowledge for example if you say there is no gold in China that is an absolute statement which requires an absolute knowledge for example if you say there is no gold in China that means you have to have searched China every piece of real estate of China every mile deep in every tree in every grandma's teeth perhaps there's gold there you have to check every cat and dog you have to check every building and you have to check every water source to come to the conclusion there is no gold in China now because you don't have that knowledge expertise and time and that ability to do that you have no right to come to the conclusion there is no gold in China somebody who says there is no God has to fly to the galaxies upon galaxies has to know the smallest details the molecules he has to know every single thing every single place and nobody can do that no atheist no mathematician no philosopher nobody can do that which simply means anybody who says there is no God says it out of ignorance arrogance maybe they don't want to have God but they cannot say there is no God without absolute knowledge they may say I don't want to have God that's a different story but to say there is no God requires absolute knowledge now on the contrary I don't have to have absolute knowledge to say there is gold in China I only need to have one golden tooth and be in China to say there is gold in China you don't have to believe there is gold in China you don't have to see gold in China you don't have to even ever know that there is gold in China but that if there is one ounce of gold in China my statement that there is gold in China is accurate that's why people like you and I can may not have the highest degrees and the most diplomas and may not be able to argue you with people of Darwinism and people with evolution who can get up and say that God exists and your statement is true why because you've talked to him you've seen his power because you've seen his glory and because you've experienced him and therefore your statement is true and when somebody says there is no God it's arrogance I don't care how many PhDs you have behind your name 